You could be making a decorating faux pas and not even know it. If you look around your home, can you spot anything? Well, today we're revealing the biggest decor mistakes and we're all guilty of. And here to show us what they are, designer Shai DeLuca Tomasi. I love it. I like your space. And I always like that we can revisit this topic because yes. it's small things that if you switch around a little bit, your place is going to look better right. instantly. Yeah, 100%. So, you know, there are those big things, of course, that you can invest tons of money in. But sometimes it's just the little tweaks that you need to do that make the space feel much more inviting and much more designed properly, let's say. That's right. Yeah? So this space we're standing in right now is fabulous. I want to show this space done very differently. Right. This is before Shy got his little hands on it, okay? <laughs> this yes. is what it looked like. So listen, it's not beautiful furniture, right. nice room, nice wall color. What's right. wrong with it? So there's a bunch of things wrong with it, and that's just it. You walk into it, and it just might not feel right. But yeah. there are certain things that are just need to be tweaked, let's say, mm -hmm. and you can make the space feel a lot better. So let's start with what we call peripheral decorating. Yes. So peripheral decorating, what does that mean? Peripheral vision, you know, we see out of the side of our eyes things that we see around. Yeah. The biggest faux pas or the biggest challenge that I get with my clients is, is that they look at me and they say, listen, we don't have the budget for a custom sized rug. Mm -hmm. We can go out and we can buy a standard. So what are standards? Five by seven, yep, eight, by eight by 10, 10. nine by 14. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that then your furniture either does fit or doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. What's the rule of thumb? If you can get all your furniture on the rug, Fantastic. Yep. But if you cannot, make sure that at least two thirds uh, of the furniture is sitting on the rug when it comes to the larger pieces, and then you can have the front legs of a chair sitting on the rug as well. Yep. It makes the space feel a lot more complete and the rug not too small. Yeah. So let's pull back to the uh, to the before again. If you see in the before, all the furniture was actually up against the wall. That's right. Okay. And that's what we do for some reason. We yeah. say, well, there's a wall there. I need to put a sofa on it. Right. Or there's a wall there. I need to put a chair on it. You right. don't. You can actually ignore the walls and make a beautiful, comfortable space. 100%. So what have we done here, Trace? We've actually just pulled the sofa away from the wall and mm -hmm. we've done a sofa table behind it. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, the sofa is on the rug. It makes much more sense. It's accessible to the coffee table because before it was sitting too far away. Right. And we have additional storage behind it with the sofa table, which really adds uh, to that beautiful kind of feel. Right. Yeah. Now there should always be, and this is the rule I always <laughs> think of, there should always be a place to rest your drink. Yeah, always. Right? Number one rule so of interior design. You need a place <laughs> Place to rest to drink. So there's a spot here, there's right. a spot here, there's right. a spot there. So everything is together and it's conversational. 100% and it should be accessible. If yeah. you can't reach somewhere to put something down, then you have to think of a different way to kind of do it, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. So now I have another um, I have another picture of the space that yeah. I want to show them. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a freeze that was taken before. Yeah. And if you look at it, you might not be able to tell right away what's wrong, mm -hmm. but the door is right behind those two blue chairs. Correct. So we have an issue. Yeah. You walk in and you're greeted by the backs of two chairs. Correct. The backs of two chairs and there was a side table in between the two chairs. That's a problem. Traffic flow. Traffic right. flow is really important. So you know with these open spaces now you're seeing a lot of times what people will do is they'll put the back of a sofa or two chairs plus a table blocking the flow of entry. Yes. And that's a problem. It seems uninviting. You have to kind of maneuver your way around. It's always kind of like a, you know musical chairs trying to figure out how yeah. to get into the space. There should be a clear way to do it. So what have I done here? Super easy. Took away the uh, the occasional table in between the two chairs, yeah. put them to the sides, and now all of a sudden, you know, this is the set, so we might be able to move the chairs apart, you know, if it was in our true home, and we'll yep. be able to maneuver our way in that way. Totally. That's yeah. way more inviting and lovely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, there's the drapery. we yeah. got to talk about the drapery. We all know that oh. people want their ankles out for spring, <laughs> but when it comes yeah. to your drapery, drapery, no ankles no. out. No. no. So, it's got to go all the way down to the ground. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's two mistakes that people make. Either they're hanging their rod too low yeah. or the panels themselves are too low or too high. Yeah. So it's almost like, you know, I remember when I'm growing up, if my pants were too high, my mom would say, what are you waiting for a flood? So <laughs> it, that, that, that would be kind of the joke. So what we did here is let's talk first of all about how a rod is hung. Yes. In the before, if we look at the before, you'll see that the rod is hung lower. What people tend to do is they'll mm -hmm. hang their drapery rods right above their windows. Right. Okay. And what that does is it actually dwarfs the room a little bit. Yes. So if we pull our rod up, 
up, then all of a sudden our eye is drawn up and it gives the illusion that the wall or the ceiling height is it's a lot higher. higher. Mm -hmm. Now another trick of the tree that you could do is then that leaves this kind of gap here with the wall, which is fine, mm -hmm. but what some people will do and what we'll sometimes recommend is do a shade or a Roman that'll come down and it, you don't know then what's behind it. Yeah. So when I'm looking at the window, I'm like, oh my God, you have windows that go all the way up to the ceiling. You're fabulous. <laughs> but yet, no, nobody really knows what's behind it, right? right. So that's a way to kind of uh, 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 trick your eye uh, into thinking that the ceiling heights are a lot higher than they actually right. are. Right. The other thing is the uh, length of the panels themselves. Mm -hmm. So we talk about, um, you know, a, a drapery panel that's too high sitting off the floor. No. Mm -hmm. You want it to what we say call puddle or sweep the floor. Right. You want it just to break to have that, that really custom beautiful look. Yeah. And it's supposed to sit just, you know, a couple inches on the floor like we've done here. And it just sweeps and puddles uh, uh, actually on the floor. Okay. Um, you have to think about the cushions when they start to become like a flat, like a piece like of cardboard. Like a pancake. Mm -hmm. Like a pancake. Yeah. Maybe that cushion needs a bit of a refresh, a right? A refresh, right? And whether or not you're going and buying a new insert, which you can mm -hmm. buy really cheaply now with the big box stores. Um, you know, by the way, everything here is from Ikea. So it's fabulous, but on great price points. Cushions. Including the sofa. Including the sofa. That's really lovely. Including the sofa. It's nice. Yeah. So everything, you know, should feel a little bit more plush. So if yeah. you need to change it, uh, you know, put in new cushions, put in new toss cushions. Now I know we're running short on time. I'm going to put up all these points on our website, cityline.tv. Good stuff. Yeah. Cityline.tv and you will find all the mistakes you were making and how to fix them. <laughs>